Magical friends, I'm Cal Mingo. Now in today's video, I got level 100 mining inside Overlook Bay. But before I get to that, if you'd make a quick favor, make sure that you're subscribed. If you've liked the video, that would mean the world to me. But let's go ahead and get started. So I've hit level 100 mining inside Overlook Bay. I'm actually the second person in the entire game to do it. And as the time I'm recording this video, there are currently four people that are level 100, which is so exciting! That do keep in mind, you don't have to rush the event and get level 100 immediately because this is a permanent part of the game. This is staying forever. So don't just like burn yourself out and get level 100 mining in like the first week. Just spend however much time you have to do it. Because yet again, this is a permanent part of the game. But I'm gonna be showing off all the rewards you have for level 100 and a couple of clips of me mining. Also, I will be making another video in the future on the best way to mine inside of Molten Mines, because I found some really good paths to take, which should hopefully speed up your mining. So make sure that you're subscribed and you have hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of those videos, because they're gonna be super exciting. Now, I'm guessing before I go ahead and show off all of the amazing rewards I got for coming level 100, I'll go ahead and show you the clip of me hitting level 100 mining. I am so excited! And there we go! Honestly, it took so long to hit level 102. I'm actually very surprised I was able to do it the very first day. But let's go ahead and show off all of the different rewards you get for maxing at the mining pass. So of course the first reward is gem, same with the fourth and the seventh reward, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip those. But at level 60, I did unlock 15 wishes, same at level 75. I'm not gonna show those in this video because I do want to save those wishes for the next wishing well pet. Because I do already have a rainbow shiny of the current wishing well pet, and I don't want to use too many more wishes on getting those. But at level 60, I get gold pet pods! And I have been saving these up too, so I want to go ahead and open up all five of these, and let's go ahead and see what pets we get. Let's see our very first gold pet pod, let's see, what's it gonna give? Our first one, and ooh, we got an alpaca pet, there we go! Our single pet pod, let's see what that one's gonna be! And ooh, we got a bear pet, there we go, we got a bear inside a cave, this is like perfect! Now let's go ahead and open up our third gold pet pod! Which we gotta spot a dog out of! Oh, look at the spy dog. It is so adorable, I love the eyes. Now it's time for our fourth gold pet pod, which gave us another alpaca! There we go! And now it is time for our very last gold pet pod! And let's see, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Our very last one! And we got a polar bear! We got two of the bears in the cave, that is hilarious! But there we go, from hitting level 65 mining, I managed to get three rare pets and two uncommons. Awesome! But let's go ahead and move on to our very next reward, which is the diamond pet pods, leading level 80. And we do also have five of those too, so let's go ahead and open up all five of the diamond pet pods. Starting with our very first one, let's see, what's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Ooh, we got an ultra elephant! Awesome! The elephants are so adorable, I love them! But now it's time for our second diamond pet pod, let's see what this one's gonna be! And ooh, we got the third bear, now we got all three of the bear pets, we got a panda pet! Awesome! We picked up all three of the bear pets in the cave, that is hilarious! But now let's go ahead and open up our third diamond pet pod, which gave us another alpaca! Awesome! And now for our fourth diamond pet pod, we got an ultra T-Rex pet, ooh, that's good! And now it is time for our very last diamond pet pod. Let's see, come on game, give us something good. And ooh, we got an ultra blueberry panda, awesome! That is so lucky! The blueberry pandas are so adorable, I love them! But now for our next reward, at level 90, you get a minecart personal vehicle! Which I'll go ahead and show you, and it looks like this! It is actually really cool though, it's like the- It is 
the most unique personal vehicle in the entire game. It, and it's really fun to drive too. If you like drive it up a hill, it almost, it almost makes your character fly up in the air like this. That, like, look at that. It is so cool. It's actually really fast too. I use it the entire time once I got it. For grinding up to level 100, it is such a fun vehicle. But just look at that. It can like, it can, like fly up if you go off ramps and stuff. It's so much fun to drive around. And for everyone that's curious, the minecart is a legendary vehicle. Absolutely loving the minecart vehicle. It's so much fun to drive around. But I'm moving on to the order that I'm actually really excited for is the level 95. And that is the legendary Phoenix Cat. And let's see, what does it look like? Oh, it's so adorable! Look at that phoenix head, look how adorable he is! He's so cute! He has a really cool particle effect too, and it actually stays for quite a while too. If I drive pretty far away, it stays there for like a while. Which is really cool, but look at him, he's so adorable! It might actually be the rarest pet in the entire game right now though. It's gonna be so hard to make this pet a rainbow shiny, but it's gonna be so worth it. But now it is time for our very last reward, which is the level 100 drill. But before I do show that off, I want to go ahead and show you all of the crystals I got from getting level 100. Because I have not sold a single crystal since this event's come out. So I have the entire list of crystals to show off. Now starting from the bottom, which is the most common reward, is the obsidian. I have 172 of these, which is a lot of crystals. Now for our next one, which is the Uncommon Galactic Rock Pet, I have 210 of these. And by the way, just for the reference, every single one of these gives more experience the higher rarity they are. So a common crystal gives a lot less experience than a godly crystal. Then we go to our next one, which is the rare diamond crystal. I have 536 of these crystals. That is so many! That is literally more than the uncommons and the commons combined. Then moving on to the ultra rare ancient jewel. I have 180 of these. And now the legendary molten pearl. I have... 59 of these, which give a lot of experience. And for the last one, I have 43 of the Godly Heart of the Bay, which gives so much mining experience. Now, there's one more crystal, which is the Ember Shard, which you can only get by mining the boss crystal that spawns in every hour. Now, I've done quite a bit of these bosses, and I've learned that every single crystal you've got, the game also gave you 1,000 experience. And the drills don't affect that either, so if you use the experience drill, it doesn't give any more. But I have 137 of these Ember Shard Godly Crystals. Which means that I've picked up 137,000 experience just off the boss alone. Which was most of my early levels too, because I, I fought so many bosses. They're honestly so worth mining. But let's go ahead and sell all of the crystals. Let's see how many gems I get from all of these. And there we go. They're now all selected. And let's see how much are they going to sell for? 33,264 gems. No way. That is a lot of gems. That is almost the price of the Molten Drill, which is the, one of the best drills in the entire game. I highly recommend buying that if you haven't already. If you can afford it, buy it. But now it is time to show off the best drill in the entire game, which is the Atomic Drill. So this is a drill you get for mining all the way up to level 100. It has a times three luck boost. It takes three seconds to mine a crystal. And it has a times three experience boost. So just for comparison, the Robux Drill has 0.5 less luck. It takes the exact same amount of time to mine. It has one less 
on the experience boost, so it's way better than even the VIP drill. So literally, the atomic drill is the best drill in the entire game. It mixes with the celebration dragon, which gives extra mining luck. You can get so lucky with this drill. But let me know in the comments, what mine level are you right now? I am absolutely loving this brand new molten mines up there. I'm so excited it's finally out. But thanks for being here, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye!